Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'd like to welcome you to the final feature match in Yu-Gi-Oh! Overdose's fifth Dueling Network tournament. I'm joined today by Simon He and Waffles in this matchup between Dylan Bruning and Stefan Bizzle. Why don't you guys say hello? Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, what's up? Wonderful. Uh, this is a mono, mir mono mermail mirror match. Uh, uh, the top eight consisted of three wind-up decks, two water decks, uh, a samurai karakuri and burn deck. And here we are in the finals, uh, two waters against each other. Let me ask, did either of you think this was unexpected? Um, uh, this was the fact that three wind-ups top? No, the fact that two waters are in the final finals um not really uh, i think it is the strongest deck right now i mean that is the answer i was looking for what are your feelings about the wind up the wind up decks that topped uh, you take this one waffles you take it first i, I think i'll be i'll be too enraged <laughs> his answer is gonna be it's shit it is <laughs> obviously you know but in a british accent it's, not, it's shit I, I, I probably didn't say it too well, but anyway, yeah, no, I, I like wind-ups, I think they're cool. Uh, it, it's nice to still see it around, since they got so, like, neutered. But, they're definitely not as strong as they used to be. No way, near. they have to keep grinding now, it, it seems like every single wind-up game has just turned into a huge grind, like, and that's really hard for them. Uh, I watched some of the games today, and all the wind-up games were just so slow, they just kept on dragging. I mean, if it's not fast enough, then it, it can't compete with water like that. I 120% agree with you. It's like being in a club where the majority of the population is male. You're just grinding. That's exactly not what I do when I'm in a club with a bunch of males. <laughs> you just leave. <laughs> See you later, boys. So uh, you guys have uh, have their deck lists in front of you, right? We do. Well, you should. Anyway, so Stefan, I'll just say for the people who can't see it, uh, is main decking uh, two fiendish chains, uh, two squalls uh, with uh, solemn judgment, solemn warning, and it uh, looks like the rest of it's pretty standard mono mermail stuff. Whereas, uh, <clears throat> uh, Dylan Bruning is running three Gundies. Uh, he's st he still uses two Salvages, uh, and he uses Regeki Break, even though he doesn't run Undyne, and uh, two Torrentials. Uh, so, I mean, he, and he doesn't run any of those other traps, I said. Regeki Break works with the gun, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It does, my I bad. Was I didn't realize that either. Yeah. Uh, and he also main decks Gores. His deck looks very similar to the one I played at regionals yesterday. And how did you do? Um, I went 7-0, and then I lost the last two rounds. So you went 7-2. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's how people always do to make things better. I went 5-0, 5-0, and then an X-3. <laughs> Okay, next two is a little better than next three. <laughs> Usually I start off by saying, guys, I went to 1 0. <laughs> and then I lost the next day. So it looks like neither player has that good a hand at the moment. And that, that's kind of the reason I don't quite like the Mono Murmur. I, I, I don't know, I seem to prefer the Undyne Murmur a lot more. Just because they can go a lot faster. Whereas. If this normal version, if they don't open Abyssus and Dragoons, it can go rather slow. Yeah, I agree. There were people playing um, hybrid versions at yesterday's regionals, and they were like nuts. They were really fast. And on top of that, they're still spamming rank sevens. I mean, so, how many cards are in their deck? Fifty. Forty-two. I don't know how they how they fit all that. Well, it's okay if if they were on that version. Forty-two. Well, they cut they cut down the TS. They cut down the Megalo. Um, they're playing two spikes. Uh, those. Like, I don't think, well, they're still playing triple diva, two guns. Probably yeah, I don't know, like, traps. They'll probably just play the, the standard. Yeah, they're not, they're not playing a lot of traps, yeah. 
Two spare, one squirrel, and two tarantulas. Something like that. They didn't even play the tarantulas, I don't think. I think, like, oh, one guy just played two squalls, and that's it. Alright. See, if I wanted to guess, I actually think that Stefan has this. Yeah, I would time. think the same. I don't know, I, I think it's I think it's much his trap lineup is a lot better than um what's what's this guy's name? Dylan Bruning. Pardon? Dylan Bruning. Dylan uh, yeah, his trap lineup seems a lot better than Dylan's. I mean I really like the Phoenix Chains at the moment. I, I like it in pretty much every single main deck. It's just so good if you make a a DeLorean play. Uh, I've been testing with Waffles quite a lot recently and I Every time I have a finish up, I just always wait until my turn, then flip up the spheres, summon un uh, controller or diva, and then just go Dalorian if something goes wrong with the play. Yeah, well, I mean, anything is good against the UK structure deck. That's <laughs> what I was playing. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but yeah, despite, uh, even if it's not that, I mean, the finish turn is really good in the mirror match in, against the mirror, so. Our... You should go. Are either of you surprised at the lack of fire fists in top eight? Oh no, no, no. Well, not at all. I the deck is okay, but as soon as you know how to play against it, it's not that good. Okay. Like if you know the cards to stop and like went went to MST and it's just I, I feel like the deck is very subpar. It, it's it's one dimensional. It feels like to me. It just keeps, yeah. It kind of feels like a Dino Rabbit deck, but just even more one dimensional than that. I don't know. Well, I, I still think, like, I'd, I'd rather go lagging a first turn than a tiger here. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> like... Um... Oh, well, the gun. Yeah. The gun is always clutch. I don't know, it's, it's not really proper English. Pike can activate word. I, I wasn't, I didn't see a, a marksman. When did that come back? No. Oh, he's right. Yeah, it misses timing. Ah, oh, that's pretty good because he discarded marksman for uh, Gungnir effect to kill the face down Lind, I think. So. Gungnir will kill it, and then in a new phase, Marksman will activate, because it's mandatory. Even though, even though it's got nothing phased down, you, it still activates. No, you, you, need to tell, you need to tell him, actually. I, I actually recently confirmed this with someone. Wait, let, let me pull it up. I asked a really good judge, and he gave me a really good example, uh, which I can't remember what it is. Even if you don't have a target, I think it was with you, actually, Waffles. Even if you don't have a target on the field uh, for Marksman, it will still activate. It just whips. <laughs> um, wait, just tell them to like wait ish because I need to pull it up. Yeah, I mean, the way it's worded, it's mandatory. Yeah, but that's cool. I, I've never actually thought of that because Marksman is actually on another chain, but since it's mandatory, it, it kind of starts on the same chain as. Uh, uh, so that actually might be. Quite game breaking. Yep. Uh, oh, now. Uh, yeah. The judge told me that it's the same thing as Tengu when there are no more copies in the deck. So, yeah, apparently Tengu activates when there are no more copies, it just starts a mandatory chain anyway. Yeah. I used the example, it's not quite the same, but I used the example when Thunder King's on the field, um, if, you, if Sangan gets destroyed, or if Snow is activated, Dark World. Snow or Dark World or something like whatever it's called. If it if it's sent to graveyard, even if Thunder King's still on the field, they still start a chain link. So if you card destruction and you discard Snow, Graffa, and whatever, and you put Snow as chaining one, and then Graffa is chaining two to kill uh, Thunder King, then Snow will still resolve because the activates on that. Are you still there, Chris? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm thinking about how I want to phrase this right now because he says. Uh, Stefan says, but it has nothing to target. It can't form a chain if it will do nothing. And he says 100%. Uh, um, 
Well, you know Werner Schumacher? No. All right. Okay. He's he's um he's from Europe and he, he's a really good judge and it seems that like this Tengu example it makes sense to me. And then there's the Sangen example. There's the Snow versus Thunder King example as well. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna go masturbate. I'm just, I'm just, what I'm good would that do? Sort of, what? what good would masturbating do right now? Because <laughs> I, I have not the least uh, attention of the two guys on the field at, on, the, on in the game right now. <laughs> also, to release some other attention, but yeah. <laughs> so can you take it back? Yeah. Well, that was a pretty serious play. Yeah. He also knows he has a gun in his hand. Yeah. Ouch. Very much so. I think Dylan's in a pretty good position right now. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Hey, listen, you don't have to be salty just because this tournament's running a little late. Um, I, you know what? I, actually, I totally blame... I don't know, though. It, look, look, okay, Dylan has no back row. I mean, if Stefan draws, like, a Tius or it, have a Megalo play, right. he's got the gun. I mean, the, the, Dylan's field does not look very secure to me at the moment, but he doesn't, so... <laughs> well... If Dylan goes, looks a lot better now. <laughs> Let's see. If he tries to discard another Atlantean right now... Then yeah, that'd be so funny. Lin, possible Lin mistiming again. That'd be so funny. Uh, not the Lin, the Spike this time. If he chooses to go for it. Oh, what I was saying is, I really do blame Dalton uh, Boosman, BT Dubs. I was, this tournament you know, was totally... Uh -huh. When I messaged you, it's like 8.30, and I'm like, hey, Chris, when what is it? And you said, oh, top 8, and then two hours later, you know, I got on, and it's still top 8. Yeah. And, but his 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 round uh, his top eight and his top four were both ridiculous. Like there were like four matches that could have gone in that time span. Well, plans don't always go. It's, it's history now, anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Plans don't always go the way they planned. So it's just I, you feel those. I was so hoping to get this done by ten o'clock. Well, I was hope, so hoping to get this done by about midnight. You know, my time. Right, yeah. Well, that, that's it's some like fancy hoping. Or or six, but it's like 4 a.m. here right now. Oh, 4 a.m. And I've got to get up about 9. That's whack. It's, you, you have it's... some kind of commitment to this. <laughs> I'm not even that committed. It, it, it's a little past midnight here. It's not that bad. So, uh, alright. Let, let's take a look in their side decks. You think that... Uh, uh, Dylan side decking Mind Crush and Maxi. Maxi. Yep. He might even toss some bottomlesses. I mean, I was thinking about the bottomlesses, and I don't know how. I mean, uh, I forget the Gemini imp, I guess. Yeah. But people. Yeah. It depends. It, it depends on the player. Like people are weird. So quite separately, oh, this is something I want to point out. Stefan side decks uh, debunk, I guess, presumably for the Mono Mermail matchup. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, he's got three of those bad boys with two maxis. Debunks works quite well for other matchups as well. I mean, he, he doesn't, uh, he'll probably side him in for uh, if he faces Dark Wars or Spellbooks. Right. For the Priestess and things like that. But yeah, obviously it'll be for the mirror. I mean, I still got to give Stefan the advantage here. Uh, yeah, me too. Me yeah, too. he he got he got outplayed there with that situation. That's right. He did not ruling, and ruling is just too important. That that was what turned the whole game. Yeah, that was, that was pretty huge. Because did he have a, a a seven in his grave when he discarded the gun? I don't, know. I don't know, but either way, he could have got out Megalo, which would yeah, be slightly better. Actually, no. No, no, no. You want you want the the twenty seven guy? Uh, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Uh, that guy really puts in work, I must say. Like twenty seven is huge. Mm. So this doesn't actually look like that could have started. 
Yeah. Yeah. There's some trash talk going on. <laughs> really lame trash talking. So is that trash talk or maybe they're just like exchanging a couple of uh, friendly phrases at least? Yeah. I'm not very good with the slang, so... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh it's going... Oh, there we go. There's the, there's the LMAO. And then the JK to make everything better. Yeah, I fucked your mother, your family, murdered everyone. Uh, uh joking. Oh, there we go. Oh my oh, god. Oh, 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 oh. Now that, that's a story you want to see. Oh, this, <laughs> this might be over quite soon. It feel every time I see like a, a two center dragoons on turn one, I feel like, you know, damn motherfucker, you didn't have to go there. It's like <sighs> oh, it hurts, hurts my feelings. Like, you could have just settled for anything else. Wow, oh, he's going for it. Uh oh. Big plays. Watching this guard elite as well. Oh no. Okay, actually, I'm stupid. That's even. Wow, that's one. busted. So, he might. He probably has, like, another one in his hand. Yeah, I guess, but. This seems slightly risky. He's probably gonna make a big eye detach. Oh, he doesn't have. Oh, that's good. He did, well, actually, it's not good. He can big eye. Yeah. No. Or no, Gaios. No. Silly. I'm silly. Well, you don't yeah, want Gaios? that. Yeah, Gaios? Gaios is quite clutch as well. Well, it's, I mean, it's okay for the D.Va. That's what I'm thinking about mainly. Well, they can't D.Va. If they have a Steers, then you can still negate. They can't Megalo. The good, the good thing is that you can kind of play around Gaios. You can. Whatever you want to activate, if you have two things that activate on the field, yeah. you just play the first thing up in the gate and then play the second thing. So, yeah. What are his outs? Dark Hole? I think you did this against me, uh, Waffles. And then the way I got past it was literally I summoned D.Va for using the gate, and then I played Megalo or something. Did I make it a D.Va? Or did I wait for you to make something? You definitely made the first... It was either Megalo first or Diva first, but you definitely negated the first one. Because I was... I remember being oh, quite happy. Oh, that Max C! This guy's just got all the answers. Yeah. Those are I, I, I take back my uh, my whole, oh, I'm giving it to Stefan. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I mean, no, I think, I think this guy knows what he's doing with some criminals. Knew the rulings and everything, so might have to come to the one. Well, what? Hey, hey guys, what does smut, what does smut mean? I have uh, no idea. Like, like dirty stuff. Urban dictionary. <laughs> Yeah, so oh, he has to give his opponent like a plus two. Yeah, that sucks. Just to run. Oh, seems like terrible. Oh, you know what? Uh, this came up in the the last round feature match. Uh, uh, Simon, I, I want you to confirm that this works this way. If I have uh, a Gaios and uh, my opponent has, say, like a Big Eye and a Forbidden Lance, can they can they go? Big eye, oh, I, I negate, and then I make Gaios smaller. Yeah, I have to kind of read Gaios properly again. One sec. I thought that was an interesting play that like might because be relevant. Obviously, the the um the, uh, the the major the first argument that people will think about is when you summon a monster and they bottomless and then you lance, but it gets smaller, then it won't destroy it. I mean, I don't know if that's the exact. That, I don't know if that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Uh, well, it's, it's the first that came to my mind. Oh, separately, the by the way, I, I should point out that these guys opted to split the value of their prize cards. Oh God, damn it! Crap. 
<laughs> as an audience, that does not. I, I want them to fight out to the death. I mean, they're they're freaking throwing insults at each other. I thought that they would be, you know, they'd be playing for something. <laughs> That's so funny. Apparently, what? Dylan's watching The Walking Dead. Too, you know what's really funny too is, um, I think third and fourth place got like seventy dollar cards. Whereas, had they have split in top four, it would have been like a hundred and twenty-four dollars yeah. or something. Then, I think that would have been the point that I decided to split. But it's like every tournament, no one splits until they get the top two. Okay, yeah, that seems good. Um, right, yeah, you can do that. You can do that because of the there's a little. It says you can detach one X Y Z material from this card, and there's, there's the semicolon thing. Yeah, and if you aren't then then. The conduct that, that next part has not been fulfilled yet. That next part of the affair has not been fulfilled yet. And if you lands when he detaches, when you activate, then Abyss Megalo won't go through if he's smaller in resolution. I mean, not Abyss Megalo, Abyss Gaius. Right. Good catch. I really hope that Stefan has a squirrel, a squirrel face down just for some sort of combat. I don't see it happening. Not with his luck. No, he probably has like D spell and uh, trap hole. Even if he doesn't play him. LOL. Oh, well. Stefan's just uh. He's oh my god! He's spitting out the disses. Yeah. Obviously. Dylan's got everything here. Every turn is just so aggressive. All the cards are perfect. By the way, have you guys subscribed uh, to the SMS thing that where you text UV overdose to five 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 eight eight eight? Do you to... have to pay something for that? No, it's, it's standard messages. Standard message rates apply. So if you have unlimited texting, it's essentially free for you, and you get updates on uh you go over those events that get announced or uh or giveaways and things like that have you done that yet that's pretty cool how did you do that, how Mag you get that done? magic so are you saying that you haven't done it yet well i'm from the uk so if i do that then it'll cost you a lot of course i did it right well that's good that's how i found out that's how i found out about these finals awesome i'm glad that you decided to text yugi overdose to 555-888 <laughs> this message was brought to you by yugioverdose.com <laughs> look at the watcher chat they, they're Those catching on hear it out there that's 555-288 five, 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 eight, eight. see the see the watchers chat they, they get it <laughs> I've been spamming that like all day You got multiple guys yeah, he, doing it. He did put it at the bottom list, is it? I think, right? Or did he mean that? Can, can put it? Uh, Stefan definitely uh, cited those in. So, all right, okay. Okay, so when I say trap roll, I was not that far off. If that plays down the trap is a squirrel, then there might be something of a comeback here. It's not. I or told you. Stefan would say, if I wanted to come back, I'd wipe it off your mother's face or whatever. That's hilarious. Chuckles. Someone out there will laugh. Hey. Well, he had another Megalo? to attack the limb because the Abyss lead is just so big. Yeah. And it would be so funny if that's just not a limb. It'd be funny if it was I just mean, like an infantry, no, 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 right? I think you saw him search it out, didn't he? I think they were talking about it earlier. Uh oh. Let me scroll up here. So, uh, Waffles, how come you didn't sign up for this tournament? 
I told you I work on Sundays. Yeah, yeah. When are you gonna quit that job and start playing Yu-Gi-Oh full time? <laughs> um, when I win the lottery. I wish otherwise, it... I might have to sign up on that welfare if that's what I do for a living. Nah, Yu-Gi-Oh is, is the real deal. What do you do, by the way? Like in real life? Oh, it is a squall. Wow. Yes. Come on, my boy. Uh, I'm a professional horse meat taster. He's a street walker. Both of those sound really, really gay. <laughs> but wow, that is so busted. No big deal. Just summon three monsters for free. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so, like, great. It would be so much better if he had some sort of spike in the graveyard and another level 4, he just tops like a Dragoon's, make Big Eye and Dweller. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, what do you, what do you think Bruning's face down is? You think it can't handle a Big Eye? It's probably Sphere, because he just searched out a Sphere with my Right. That's my bad. I totally... I, I got interrupted. I totally missed that. But, okay, so sure. It, then he can still deal with the big guy. Yes. He can still deal with the big guy. Yeah. Ooh. But can he deal with a guy Yeah, I don't know about all that. <laughs> That's a big right, so guy. He plays two. Right, okay, uh, it's in two his section Yeah, he plays two of his Gaioses. So yeah, most, I, I think most of, the, most of the builds play two of his Gaios, don't they? I haven't really been paying attention to the builds that much. Uh, yeah, like they're all two of his Gaios and like the big guy varies from one to two. Dylan, Dylan plays only one and he, um, what's the difference here? I only play one, um, I think maybe because he only has one Abyss Squall. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Whereas, uh, Stefan has two, so I think... Oh, but Stefan only has one big guy as well. Man, that card is so big. Yeah, it's such trouble. Even Abyss Lee can't get over it. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Man, that messes up a lot. Whoa! Oh, never mind. It's just, I guess he's gonna. Actually, I don't know. But then he won't get the other effect. Like, yeah. Like, whatever, but. I was trying to think like if he could do something with, like marksman, but I, I mean, I, you can't, right? There's nothing you can do. I thought, I think, I thought, I thought the plan is to ram and then get lead and then tribute the other one off. Oh yeah, you're. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what? Just for the record, if if I was playing this game and I took a second to think about it, I would have done the same, but. Like, just because... Oh, well, no. Uh, or, or not. I was kidding. Well, it's hard to one anyway, since it was um, brought out this turn, and it has to be brought in defense mode. But... Yeah, but, I mean, still, you, you'd be cool to do stuff with it. Or does he have the lead in his grave? I wasn't really paying attention. I don't think he does. Oh, he could just make a... Is he going to make a dweller? Does seem pretty good, but I'm not sure if he even has um, another spike. Well, grave. Because he, he didn't he didn't scroll out a spike. He scrolled out another lint. So everything but guy. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. He didn't he doesn't have it. You're right, because he said everything but guy was on the gun. Okay. Uh, he's just gonna make a rank three, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how much Fair I like enough. that. I mean, I think I like the 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 discarding guy I play a lot more. Yeah, I think that yeah, because I mean, like you're getting rid of like a potential out in his hand if he has one. Yeah, it, it's it, it's basically like instead of I guess going into Zen mains right now, right? Like you go into the the twenty seven with taking out a card out of the hand. I think Zen mains, yeah. Is this play only? 
it's only relatively decent if Dark Hall. Fearing Dark Hall. Yeah, that would that's what I'm saying. Even if he has Dark Hall and he Dark Soul in this situation with him keeping his enemies, I still think that's a bad situation for Stefan. Yeah, because Gaius gets over that that means really quickly. No, just that. I mean, just like a random diva. I mean, Gaius. Uh, oh, that's what he has. Yeah. yeah. Gaius. Right. So he doesn't have a play. He probably has a. He probably, he probably has a squirrel as well now, just waiting for the next turn with his massive play too. Or mine crashes. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the other thing about mind crush. Like everyone says, it's so good, and it technically is against the water matchup. It is unless you draw it's, it's, like it's leader. It's even better if you play in something like Dark Wars when you drag down and virus a lot. I mean, in a normal matchup, if they've already kind of gone out and they have a field presence, just talking those mind crushes is just, just awful. still hanging in there. I mean, he's still got a sphere. Yeah. The sphere's just so good. Oh, 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 waffles. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that uh, Stefan, like, it's actually kind of funny how this game just keeps going back and forth, actually. That's how the mirror match is, because it's very wishy-washy. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, what oh, the? Fierce mirror force. Seriously? That's... But then he's so going to get mirror force. punched in the face with, like, a Dragoon. Yeah, well, I mean, that, that's about also, it, right? Also, I think Dylan, Dylan runs a Bistruge, which is 1,700 attack. Yeah. He can run that over, too. So, I don't... Uh, yeah, that seems like... Oh, 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 no. Let me see. No, he doesn't even need it. What of them? What do you mean he doesn't need it? I mean, this, this is, isn't this pretty bad if he just brings out a lead or something and the next turn just attack over the ghost? Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Unless Dylan somehow was being an idiot and he brought out the limp in attack mode. It can't attack, no. though. What do you mean? The best lead can't attack. Wait, what? Why? Guys' attack doesn't let level 5s are hard. Oh god, I always forget that. True story. <laughs> But it, it can, yeah, like you said, if he has a Dragoon, then he's going to get pounded in by... You should have just gone Truge, unless he's making a rank 7 play. I don't... Okay, yeah, he does play Truge. I really didn't like that turn to defend Zen mains thing. No, no, not do I. I. I still think the lead play was a turn ago for Stefan. The lead play was good. Yeah, it was a discard yeah, one, it right? It seemed infinitely better than making a Zen means. Yeah. <sighs> like, I understand that if you're turning a big eye to defense, oh, wow. so it does have the squirrel. Uh, well. I think he can make two rank sevens, right? <laughs> <laughs> Bastard. Thanks for the guys. So what's so special about this, says Stefan, that it's weird, your build. All right, so he, this is oh, this is such a bad loser kind of attitude, you know? Yeah. The opponent turns it around and he just starts attacking at little things like his build. I really dislike that. But yeah, switching, switching the Abyss girls to defense with... Just it it seems a little silly to be salty over a 60 person tournament, as he says. Yeah. And they're not even, they're still throwing trash talk at each other, and they're not even playing for any more of a prize apart from the prize. Can he, 
can't do that? Why didn't he just take his, uh... No, well, no, what do you mean? He can't, because uh, this guy was winning the gate. And then, uh, big guy can't attack. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh... I'm challenged. I'm not seeing, literally, I'm not seeing any mistakes from, um, the villain here. Or any, like, they, they all seem pretty good plays, but Stefan's made, like, two. Wait, can he, can he stop? Wait, one sec, one sec. So this, one sec. He doesn't even play Baja mode. Why is he saying he's killing Baja? I think I know what he's talking about because. Oh yeah, he does play Baja mode. I didn't see it the first time. Yeah, yeah, I know what he's talking about because I was just gonna check. Big guy can't do that. He can't attack and detach. Right. It's not like Baja Shah where you can, where the wording is like you can attack and then no, you can yeah you can attack and then main phase two detach. And special summon. So that's why Stefan's yeah. picking up on my shot. That's weird to think. Like, I've never ever confused Big Eye like that. It's pretty funny. So yeah, so either Dylan doesn't realize rulings or he's just, he's just trying to cheat. This card cannot attack the turn you activate its effect. Yeah. yeah. Whereas Bahama Shark says something different. It's because it says this card cannot attack the rest of the turn. Yeah. 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 This card. Yeah. This card cannot attack the rest of the turn. Whereas. So what uh, you were saying about Dylan playing flawlessly? <laughs> well, this is not. It's a small mistake. It's, it's like. A, it's a mistake that you. You would have done. You, you would have still done the exact same thing, except you just can't make this play at the moment. The, this the board would still end up the same because he's got he's not got another Gyros. So, um, so bringing out big guy is the only play. And since. Uh, Stefan is low on hand count and his, he only plays one squirrel, then there's really not much out that he has. Right. Dark hole. Dark, yeah, I was just gonna like, say dark hole. Yeah, like, I, mean, I guess, but he's running low on steam. He should be running low on steam at the moment. Even if he does dark hole, then it kind of brings the board and uh, the, the position back in terms of advantage to roughly equal. He needs like a dark hole and a, a diva. You know, I, I know Stefan personally as well, and he's so funny when he when he loses yeah. his facial expressions and his moods, and I'm just imagining like I'm something like like a little giggle in my head. Just imagine, I can just imagine what he's like at the moment. This is still game two, right? This is game two, yeah. Yeah. Well, that was, uh, I feel like you could have done more. Do it? Yeah. I'm trying to think, like, I wish I, like, saw the graveyard. Cause, I mean, I'm just now thinking about it. But, like, it just looks so lackluster. It should kind of tell you about the his hand as well. I guess a little bit because if, if he couldn't make a huge push then he doesn't have that many stuff in his hand. I mean he definitely doesn't have a level 4 otherwise I would have just gone well. He's probably sitting like on another maxi or something. Oh yeah, yeah. that's true. That's a good call. Well, so that's... I've faced off in there for a couple of turns as well. That was a good I wonder if, if it is mine crush. Yeah. Yeah, it, it could be. Which isn't that bad. If he, no, it's not. Like, it's, it still could be. It's only. It's wow. Only small thing. It still could be reinforced, actually. So it did happen. And if actually, um, 
if if that was a Gaios instead of a big guy, uh, that would have been so much better. Why? Oh, because that means, means yeah. Because that means with that too. Yep. But if he turned around. Yeah. Two rounds. Doesn't play two big guys. Uh, two Gaioses. He saw he knew what. Yeah, like, like you said, Dylan doesn't play two guys. Oh, he only plays one. I was wondering why he didn't make the guys. Okay, never mind. We, we mentioned this earlier. He doesn't. He probably doesn't play two because he only plays one squirrel. No, I thought you said he doesn't play two big guys. He always played two guys. Yep, we've learned that lesson today. Then. Yeah. <laughs> He's learning it the hard way. Hello. Especially if he loses this game. He sat on that Abyssphere for a while. For a time. Oh, really? Yeah, just a time. Well. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. He also gets to grab something back from his graveyard. He doesn't have a Diva, does he? No, I don't think so. No. What an interesting card. Well, Stefan is done with the game. He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> well, I mean, they, they split, so like... Yeah. He's just tired, probably. just doesn't want to... Ah, uh, that's, such, that's so boring. I mean, you really should enforce the rule that you can't split. I'm, they, they, they don't seem to be... Yeah, like the finals. The finals don't seem to be intriguing. It's just like you know, what's funny. Like, oh, whatever. You, you thought it was. You guys thought it was totally fine until I brought that up. It was totally fine because I was getting revved up by how they were both, got, like hitting each other with insults. I thought they were actually like proper into it, seeing some rivalry going on. But no. Whatever. Anyway, so uh, let's wrap this up by saying uh, congratulations to Dylan Bruning. The winner of Yu-Gi-Oh! Overdose's fifth Dueling Network tournament, he took Mono Mermails to the uh, to the to the top and, and won with it. And uh, any of you guys want to say anything about it before we uh, wrap up here? He should have played two Abyss Gaioses. Two Abyss Gaios, yes. And Stefan should have made a lead play. Right. Well. Wow. And they shouldn't have split. They shouldn't have split. Yeah, they definitely shouldn't have split. That's that's your fault, Chris. I'm sorry. I want I want a I want an intense match. Yeah, I want a re-tournament. Actually, can we get every sixty player back here to do like a re-tournament? Um, yeah. Right now, because like, I commented on the finals if they were actually playing for some money. I'll do the pairings. I'll do the matches sketch. Yeah, you won't have to do a thing, Chris. Just like the only thing that you have to do is tell everybody that they have to play again right now. There's only one problem. What, what is that? One of the guys went to sleep. Oh yeah, hell! That, oh, well, look. What happened to me at YCS Miami? I fell asleep. That, that no, that that's that's just too unfair. I, I would do it, but I'm not going to do that to that one guy. <laughs> anyway, listen, uh, guys, I want to say thanks for for doing this with me. I appreciated having you. I look forward to having you back any time. Any time you say. Well, not any time. Uh, only like during a tournament and during a feature match. The rest of the time, uh, I don't really want to so talk to you. You won't. You won't like put me on Skype and while you're having dinner with your wife so we can't talk to you any other time i see how it is that's right yeah that's okay i thought we were friends well i, I guess not do 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 see you guys <laughs> thank you chris see you soon thanks for bye. having us chris bye. it's always a pleasure